can open up to me, show me what's inside. Mother Nature made us to intertwine. Lavender elixir, so full of pheromones. Give me one taste of your gone. What if I can't get you out of my thoughts? What if my seasons don't change? What if you forget to forget me not? And we fade away. You're my little flower, blooming in the night. Are they real? Or are you putting it on for me? I'm gonna cry this whole ceremony. Keeping it quiet. Arissa, I love you because you're kind, smart compassionate, but my favorite part about you is that you're stubborn. You are fierce and uncompromising in your drive to make me a better person. Over the last year, while we were waiting for our house to be built, you taught me something very important. You taught me that home is not defined by the place, but by the people who occupy it. And with you, I feel at home. So I vow from this day forward, that you will never have to face this world alone. Whatever adversity or adventures we face, we will face them together. I vow to honor your dreams and fears, your secrets and vulnerabilities. I love every part of you. I am yours and you are mine from this day forward until the very end. We've always heard it. after me the words from the Song of Songs in the Bible, words that you said to each other a few minutes ago when we were together signing your ketubah. I am my, my beloved. beloved. And my beloved is mine. And my, my beloved, beloved is, is mine. mine. Hey everyone, uh, I'm Alex, um, I'm Zach's twin brother. Put plainly, he's the best brother I could ever ask for. Part of me wishes we could go back to building tree forts, blowing up sand traps, and driving the Punisher, but we can't be kids forever. For this next chapter, 
I know Arissa will be an incredible wife. She's kind, intelligent, beautiful, and is the rock that Zach absolutely needs. one of the few here to say that I've known Arissa since her exciting years at McGill. A little over seven years ago, Arissa and I began our friendship in quite a conventional way. Sitting on a bed, talking about the boys we liked. Bring us to 2022. For miles away, I've been able to watch your relationship blossom and evolve. Not only have you grown as an individual since those days at McGill, but looking at the two of you today, it's clear that you have the right partner to hold your hand through life. Yeah, I'm ready.